Hi guys, on the basis of class, in Java we can only perform three types of inheritance. First is single inheritance, second is multi-level and third one is hierarchical. Since lots of my viewers already know the concept of inheritance, in this video I will quickly explain these three types. But if you are an absolute beginner in programming and if you don't know the meaning of inheritance, don't worry, I uploaded three separate videos with better explanation and examples. Ok, let's get started. Let's first see single inheritance. In single inheritance, we have one base class and one child class. The keyword used for inheritance is extends. Let's understand this by an example. Suppose I have created two classes, class A and class B. I know that A and B are the worst name but I just want to keep it simple and our aim is to understand inheritance. Now if class B wants to inherit class A, then we have to use extends keyword that is class B extends A. Ok, let's quickly see it practically. Here, I have created three classes A, B and Main. Main is a driver class. In simple word, I am using Main to create or use object of class A and B. So class B inherits class A. Class A has a method display A and class B has a method display B. Now let's create an object of class B. Since B inherits A, so object of B can access the public methods or variables of class A. So here I first call display A and then display B. Now both the methods are called. Now if I created object of class A, then it can't access the method of class B. So that's it guys, if you want to understand single inheritance using a proper example, then watch my video on single inheritance. Now next type of inheritance is multi-level. A multi-level inheritance look like this. That is class C extend class B and class B extends class A. You can even add more subclasses. So here object of class B can access methods of class B as well as of class A. But it can't access methods of class C. Class C object can access public methods or variables of class A and B. If you are getting confused, watch my video on multi-level inheritance. Now let's see this stuff practically. Multi-level inheritance is similar to single inheritance. It's like a stepwise. Let's quickly understand the concept. Suppose I created three objects of these classes. Now object A can access methods and variables of class A but can't access of class B and C. Now object B can access public or protected methods or variables of class A but it can't access class C. And object C can access the public method or variables of class A and B and protected method or variables of class B. Now here I am just creating an object of class C and calling all these methods.
okay let's run our program and methods are called all three methods are called now the third type is hierarchical the structure of hierarchical inheritance is like this that is more than one classes extend the same class. Here B and C extend the same class A. But remember that class B and C has nothing to do with each other. Let's see this stuff practice. Here the concept of hierarchical inheritance is very simple. Object of B class can access the public and protected members or variables of class A. And same thing is applied to class C. An object of class B and C has nothing to do with each other. Here I am creating object of class B and C. So B OBJ B. So OBJ B is an object of class B and OBJ C is an object of class C. And both these objects can access the display method of class A. So this is hierarchical inheritance. Let's run our program. And it's working fine. Guys visit Code Archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you. Like Code Archery Facebook page and join our group. You can also support me on Patreon. And if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.